Hi, I'm Randy Vance. I'm on Seacat's brand new 260 catamaran. Now this is the SUV of offshore boats. It's got a draft of only 14 inches, but is totally capable of handling big waters, making it ideal for the captain that wants to fish tarpon inshore and grouper offshore. I'm gonna walk you through this boat, but take a look at how it handles on the water. Now every Sea Cat is a custom boat designed your way. This boat has dual Garmin's on top. You've got Optimus 360 with the Lavorsi steering wheel, and you've got the Suzuki gauge in addition to interlinking the engines through the Garmin displays. Now the hard top on this boat is rock solid. It's got stereo speakers in it and rocket launchers on it. But what we noticed most was how quiet it is standing here behind it. That's thanks to the wings on the windshield that create a Venturi effect and move wind away from the cockpit. Now the leaning post is a LeBrock design. We love it because it's got thick bolsters that are comfortable for either stand up or sit down driving. Armrests fold down as well to give you extra security. And there's rocket launchers on the back for more rod storage. Now there's an enormous storage compartment all organized in the back side of the leaning post. You've also got your fresh water supply and a shower on the starboard side. Now you've got plenty of room in this working cockpit. First, there's a fold away seat to give your passengers a comfortable place to ride out to the fishing grounds. On either side is a 25 gallon live well, each fed by an 800 gallon per hour pump and that in turn is pressurized so your bait doesn't get beat up as you're riding out. Now on the transom, you've got four shotgun rod holders. You'll also notice that the live wells are guttered overboard into that bailing well. Further, I like the center step there that gives you easy on and off access using the tuck away boarding ladder. Now this is the fishing platform of the Sentry. There are several things I want to point out. First, you've got this large, easy step to the large casting deck. There's plenty of room to work up here. And you've got the trolling motor installed at the factory. Now, on the port and starboard side, you can see that we have lounge back seats in. Those are removable for fishing. But notice how these hatches open up like wings. That gives you optimum access to stow the largest rods inside. On the deck, there are five more hatches with storage underneath. First, the anchor locker, this large center compartment, one on either side, and there's a compartment under the step. Lastly, on the front of the console, you've got an enormous lounge facing forward I like the upholstery on it. It's nice, supple, and it's textured to give you a nice, comfortable ride. And underneath is an enormous cooler. And this one happens to have ice and water in it, which we're going to tap right now. Now, there's plenty of room between the helm and the gunnel for a clear walkway. Underneath, you've got enormous fish lockers on either side. Now, these lockers will drain overboard when the boat's on the trailer, and they also have pump outs for them while you're at sea. Now the Sea Cat 260 that we're on is amply powered by the Suzuki 300s and it's a super solid ride. That's thanks to Forrest Munden's design of the hull deck and transom solidly fiberglass together, so much so that it could probably take dual 450s. This boat is family friendly as well. When you put the cushion package all over the deck, you've got a great sun pad, forward lounges, plenty of seating and comfort for your whole family. I'm Randy Vance, and this is the Seacat 260 on the Tampa Bay.